Rev here, and welcome to True Power Trumpet Fitness here on terrific, terrific Tuesday here in Connecticut. It's stinky again. Surprise, surprise. <laughs> it's July. That happens. <laughs> it's supposed to be even warmer tomorrow, and then it gets back down in the lower 80s. Whatever. You saw the thumbnail. Old school power. Man. <laughs> This is where the young guys are really, really deficient. And I'm not knocking the young guys. I get it. It's the style in which it's is selling nowadays. I get it. But old school power, man. I love it. Anyway, just got in from a bike ride. Let's see what I got. And uh, while we're still sweating, <laughs> and we'll talk about old school power. It's old school power, baby. Anyway, that's some old school power, some double C's and Mahler 7th, right? Yes. Ninth? Doesn't matter. On a B-flat trumpet, kids. Now, I sat right next to Vacchiano when he played that. On a D trumpet. It was blistering. Heard Mel play it sitting right next to him, on a C trumpet, John Ware on a C trumpet, Frank Catarabic on a B flat trumpet, Herseth, never heard him live doing that, I heard him playing Don Juan, guys, in all due respect, nobody out there today is doing what those guys were doing, power wise, no way, now, guys, you don't have to tell me, G give me your comments and criticism. That's fine. That's fine. But I realize it's a different time and a different place. And I realize that Schulte and Toscanini were a whole lot different in their concept of sound and everything than what is going on today. I get it. So the trumpet players adapt to what is going, going on. Perfectly reasonable. Perfectly reasonable. Okay? Now, the thing about it is, the trumpet players, okay, I'm going to name names. Rolfs in Boston, Bilger in Philly, Chris Martin in New York. Okay? There's more, uh, an Inoue out in San Francisco. Okay? Wonderful players. Wonderful orchestral players. They've been holding down the job for a long time, and there's something to be said for that principal trumpet in a major symphony orchestra. There's something to be said for that, and I am not knocking them. Were they in the same stratosphere as Broyles, Vacchiano, Ware, Herseth, Cataravic? Not in the same zip code for power. Okay? They can do a lot of pretty things, and their, tone, their lyrical tone in the middle register on a C trumpet is beautiful. Don't want to hear him on a B-flat trumpet, but it's wonderful playing. Remember, Bilger played with my brass quintet. Guys, I know what he can do. I get it. And I guarantee you, you ask Chris Martin, and I'm going to throw Phil Smith in there. I consider Phil Smith, power-wise, to be the last part of that legacy. Studied with Vacchiano, played with Herseth in Chicago for several years. That, he's part of the family. Okay. You think Chris Martin is as strong as Phil Smith? Come on, give me a break. Give me a break. 
all right now I get it the technology is different the conductor is different Seiji Ozawa was different from from Schulte I get it Seiji you know and, and, and whatnot different from Bernstein Bernstein liked the big sound but guys the play is different and guys I am not loving it I'm not loving it. I've made no bones about it if you love it fine okay but guys I'm telling you you're not gonna convince me by giving a comment down below well I heard Rolfs play Mahler fifth in, in Symphony Hall and he guys anybody that knows what they're talking about will tell you guys Chris Martin Rolfs all of anyway all of them will tell you they weren't as strong as Herseth and Mel Brills. they're the first ones to tell you now I have another video coming if Herseth went to audition for the Boston Symphony today would he get the job I'm not so sure but anyway that's for another video okay but the old time power orchestra is a completely different thing commercial guys I put Conrad Godso guys Wayne Bargeron I love him I did an entire video for him Dowdswell I love him I did an entire video for him called it Wayne's World and I guys they're terrific they're not as strong as they were and Wayne Barger will be the first one to tell you. He's not as strong as Godso. He's the first one to tell you. Now, guys, you, it's not lost on me that you don't have to be. You don't have to be. Every single guy that does a recording session has their own mic that's that far away from the bell. And they have a complete and total genius up there on a multi-million dollar board getting the dynamic levels right. So you can play this big and sound like Gazo, and I'm going to put um, Trumpeter's Prayer down below, okay? That was one take, guys, in the studio with the strings and everything else. They gave him a standing ovation. That's one take. You listen to that tone. Wayne Barjohn, I love him. Talented. He's probably the best out there now. Him, Morrison, we can name a few things. Fattis is there, too. They don't play with the power. The Gazo. Gazo was the guy... Um, the New York guys were Bernie Glow, and we'll talk about range. Range is a different thing. Bob McCoy, all the Tonight Show guys, Dick Perry, um, Bob Milliken, um, Chuck Finley out on the coast. Guys, they didn't play with, they're not playing with that power. They don't have to. One of my best friends growing up in the music business was Jim Hines. And he was the, still is, as far as I'm concerned, the best first call trumpet player in New York City for the last 20 years. Every sound score, every single Broadway show, he was the number one call. Guys, he played this big. I knew him when he was 18 and he was knocking the walls down. And when I saw him years later and I was going in for a sub and he's playing this big. Jim, what's going on? What the hell what, I'm not kill myself. I don't have to. I don't have to. He's playing lead trumpet of cats. I don't have to. And he said, uh, the first night in, he said, the uh, sound man came to me and said, is that what it's going to be like? He says, that, that's it. Okay. You go out in the hall, he sounds, he sounds like Godson. So he doesn't, I get it. I get it. But the fact of the matter is, these guys are not as strong. All right? All right. Anyway, eat and drink your fruits, vegetables, and starches, and live your life with true power. Love you all.